Something's fishy here. Oh, it's Pronti, the underwater Metroidvania action title that released on Steam back in 2021. Pronti is now swimming onto the Switch, and thankfully it's a port that mostly manages to stay afloat through its 7 to 10 hour runtime. In Pronti, you'll explore a vast and visually striking map which hosts nasty sea creatures that are out to kill you, the occasional puzzle, and a host of secrets waiting to be discovered. Pronti's narrative revolves around the titular character Pronti and his partner, a javelin named Bront, taking place in the year 2487. Whoa, I don't think I was ready for what that would look like. Pronti has now reached the age where they are given the title of being a protector. This means what exactly? Pronti is all grown up and now needs to undergo six months of training and Bront gets to come along for the ride. A protector's job is more or less to defend the ocean from evil threats and protect human lives, and thankfully you'll also have robot friends to help guide you along the way. Pronti's story is mostly told through text, which admittedly was a bit hard to read in the handheld mode, but it does a decent enough job of incentivizing players to complete their journey. You'll even get the occasional comic book style cutscene, and I found these to look quite lovely. Is this an award-winning script that will pull at your heartstrings? Not really, but it's certainly an acceptable premise, and the developer has done a nice job of creating a believable world. An encyclopedia also featured in the game's menu offers a bit of history of your discoveries, which help to flesh out the narrative a bit more. Pronti features multiple difficulty levels and even a few skins to choose between at the start. You can be Pronti SW417, the female version, or the classic skin ZX921. I really appreciated the options here and the fact that the difficulties and skins can be swapped at any time throughout gameplay makes Pronti a very accessible experience. Make no mistake, there is a challenge here if you seek it, but you can also adjust in-game sliders to make your challenge level as easy or difficult as you wish. As for the gameplay, Pronti plays out like a standard Metroidvania title in some ways, but also manages to have a unique feel of its own. Movement has a good amount of weight to it, with the game taking place underwater, and combat is centered around your partner Bront. You aim with the right stick to send Bront off in certain directions, and then you use the ZR button to unleash attacks. Bront will also learn various upgrades, such as a charge attack that can dish out more damage, and his armor will also increase as you progress and take down the game's bosses. Personally, I was a little mixed on the combat in Pronti. It's unique, this can't be argued, but I also found it somewhat awkward and uncomfortable at times. Often my battles came down to having to feverishly mash at the attack button, which was honestly kind of painful after a while. And unfortunately, the combat is a major part of this game, so I did find it a bit tedious at times. Boss encounters were the standout for me in terms of combat, as they were quite thrilling and offered screen-filling challenges that were mostly a joy to figure out. That said, despite my mixed feelings on Prompty's combat engine, exploring its world is quite magical. The game's map is very well designed and easy enough to read as well. Players can see landmarks, zoom in and out, and also tell which areas they've visited without too much issue. Littered throughout this world are rest stations where you can catch your breath and save your progress, but also install upgrades to your memory board. You'll have a set amount of slots, so you do need to choose wisely, but upgrades can make a significant difference with perks like the all-seeing eye allowing you to see how many hit points your enemies have, for one example. I wouldn't say it's the most robust customizable system I've come across, but it's definitely serviceable. Pronti will also toss the occasional environmental puzzle your way, though I use the term puzzle lightly, as many of these situations are more timing based and won't have you racking your brain too much. Pronti's visuals were by far my favorite aspect of the game. It's gorgeous to look at with each new area giving off a haunting history. The art team has spared no expense in crafting gorgeous backdrops. Enemies look unique and have a charming glow and things animate well, looking very nice in motion. There were times where honestly I stopped just to admire the scenery and attention to detail throughout Pronti, with smaller details like bubbles rising or seaweed swaying really helping to immerse players. A fantastic visual accomplishment, which is further brought to life with a phenomenal, often rousing musical composition set. Boss battles are bombastic, while general exploration can be accompanied by tranquil melodies. The sound of the ocean itself is captivating and often relaxing, but yet unsettling, making Pronti a wondrous accomplishment in terms of visual and audio design. As for Switch performance, it's not terrible here. You will hit a few very sudden and jarring frame rate spikes from time to time, and the game takes a rather significant visual hit in its handheld mode, but overall I thought the game performed solid. If you are looking to main play handheld, I'd say the Steam Deck version would be the way to go if you have access to one. It is deck verified, but the Switch port is far from the worst I've seen, and it gets the job done. So overall, if you've missed out on Pronti originally and are strictly a Switch owner, Pronti is a fun little Metroidvania experience that does offer something different in its combat, which 
I didn't love, and it's setting, which is wonderful. This is a welcome addition to the Switch library and a unique experience within a genre that could always use more of those.